Good day everyone, let's work out the statistics and probability questions. The median of the numbers 115567778 is, and as we can see, the numbers are in ascending order from the smallest to the largest. When you see the word median, think middle, the middle number. And let's find the middle number, so let's cross out one from each end, one from each end. Another one, another one, another one, and we end up with two numbers in the middle. So when we end up with two numbers in the middle, we need to add them and divide by two. So we get 13 divided by two, two into 12, six and a half, which is 6.5. Our answer is C. Let's move on to number two. We have a frequency table here, with time in minutes. We are asked the lower class boundary of the interval 3, 5 is. So to get the lower class boundary, we add 3 to the preceding number. So we add 3 plus 2 and we divide by 2. So we get 5 divided by 2, just 2 and a half, which is the same as 2.5. So B is our answer. Let's move on to number three, the modal score. We are looking for the most popular score, the score which has the most number of students, and that answer is eight because eight has 12 students. Okay, so the modal score is eight. That is A. Let's move on to number four. We have a bar graph, number of students versus age and years, and we ask how many children took part in the survey. So for each bar, we have, this means three students took part, three students who are four years in age took part. And this other bar means four students who are five years old took part. And this other bar means two students who are six years old took part. So we need to add these numbers 5 and this means 1 student we add 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1 alright so 3 plus 4 is 7 and 2 is 9 and 5 is 14 and 1 is 15 so 15 students took part the answer is B let's move on to number 5 600 students wrote an examination. The probability of a student failing an examination is 1 out of 5. How many students are expected to pass? So if the probability of a student failing an exam is 1 over 5, then the probability of the student passing, so the probability okay, of student passing will be equal to 1 subtract 1 fifth because the total probability is 1 so we get 4 fifths so the probability of a student passing is 4 out of 5 so to find the number of students who pass we want to get a number out of 600 so we want the equivalent fraction we want to get this number x so 5 into 600 is 120 so 5 times 120 gives 600 so 4 times 120 to get the equivalent fraction the numerator will be 480 so x is 480 the number of students that are expected to pass is 480 which is c okay so these are our answers and all the best to you in your studies